Okay, I'm back. And uh, apparently you just can't switch it while you're doing video. Or maybe you can and I don't know how to do it. But anyway, okay, here, here's the bed. <laughs> like, let me just go from the doorway here and... <laughs> and there's Wisp. Hi, Wisp. I'm not really sure why the flash is on at the moment. I'm not sure I can turn that off either while I'm shooting. <laughs> Whatever, hopefully it won't be too annoying. So, okay, um... The figures on the bed, that, that's what I began with this morning. The figures on the bed, except for the few that I opened in the last video, which is like those guys. Um, and what was already on the shelves. Although I just added a few things to that, which I'll show you in a moment. But now I have books. I have CDs. I have buttons. I have my PowerCon thing. I have... <laughs> He guy and he guys of the universe. Oh look my hair. Look, 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 look. Okay. This was my signed card of Castle Grey Skull Man from Daniel Benedict. So obviously I still have the card. Um oh yeah, the buttons are from Tom Brisky. They're amazing. Got my map of Eternia, because apparently I subbed it back then and I forgot. Um got James E. Talk's book. Got here we got filmation and then the art of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. And this is probably gonna make you guys dizzy and I apologize. But then we've got some books, some other books. Oh wait, those are coloring books. These are actual books. Um, I'm not gonna pull them out and show you exactly which ones because that would probably bore you. I've got some little books with records. I've got some Princess of Power coloring books and a real book. Although I swear that was like Barbie that looks nothing like she but whatever. Um, yeah, so I'd completely forgotten that I had those. So I'll call, I mean, I remembered these guys. They were out front and center. But the other books were mixed in with a whole bunch of other 80s cartoon books. And I forgot about them. So they are, they are now out. Hopefully they will join the rest of the team. This is my bag of heads and accessories from the classics line. <laughs> Again, probably making some people really nervous and angry right now. But I, I can't remember what goes with who. And I don't really care. I don't want to display every single accessory with every figure. So anyway, then I found this stuff, which is on a completely different shelf. So there's my She-Ra from God knows when, years ago. Um, her and several of the 2000X figures like Mechanic, I think Manny Faces, at least those two, maybe one of the others, a very, very kind fan sent to me several years ago who listened to Master's Cast and realized I didn't have any because my stupid ex-boyfriend took them when uh, he moved out. So <laughs> he sent me some. But I've got my Evil Inst action, uh, the, the Funko guys that, that I got for Christmas, I think that was last year, and Orko, which I think I bought for myself because he's adorable. So those are going to go somewhere. And... There's the Molar 2-pack that also has to go somewhere. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Maybe that's it. It's still- it's, it's, it's a lot. See, these are all the figures I still have to unbox <laughs> that I just showed you in the last video. Uh, so that'll be interesting. And fitting all these guys on what's left it will be- in I, I, I think it's doable. It's just gonna be interesting. So here's what I've done so far with the heroes. With my spice racks. I love them! And it, yeah, it's working really well, I think. And I even like was able to space them out a little bit. I thought I was gonna have to have them all like right up next to each other, but I think they're nice and spaced out. Hopefully they can stay that way. Then I've got my old school shelf, my commemorative set and just some random ancient figures. <laughs> they're not the ones I grew up with, sadly. I probably got them off of eBay or something, but I love them. Although all these mini comics are from my childhood. This lovely stack. Oh yes, this is how obsessed my brother and I were. Uh, somehow all of our figures disappeared, but I still have the mini comics as proof. Yay! Um, and then up here we've got all my DVDs. And then in the attic I found these VHS tapes that I've completely forgotten I had. And these German radio play tapes, like cassette tapes. Which I'm sure I got as I was collecting the Rainbow Bright ones, because there's several... There's like 30-something Rainbow Bright tapes. Um, and I would buy them in lots from German sellers, so I'm certain those were just in some of the lots. But hey, I kept them all these years, they might as well go <laughs> in the collection. So, wish me luck! I'm gonna start putting these guys on shelves and see how it goes. Talk to you later! Bye!